What's up everybody? This is Jared coming to you live from the Special Olympics office and I'm here today for Fit Friday. Today we're going to be doing a calisthenic workout, get our heart rate up a little bit so we can enjoy the rest of our weekend. Sound good? All right, let's do it. Let's get right into it today. So first things first, we're going to start off with a little bit of a warm up. Now I understand you're probably watching this video from the comfort of your home and you might not be able to, you know, go for a jog in your bedroom or do any of those things, okay? So what we're gonna start off with is a few marches, okay? And now as we do these marches, our goal is to kind of get the blood pumping in our legs. The goal is to kind of get our muscles loose with our legs because we'll need to stay loose in our legs for the rest of the workout today, okay? So this is what I want everybody to do. So you're gonna hold your hands out with your palms facing down, just kind of like this, look at it from the side. You want your little 90 degree angle here at your elbow, okay? A little 90 degree angle. Okay, so we're gonna be standing like this. Now this is what I want you to do. I understand maybe you won't be able to do this, that's all right, but get as close as you can. You wanna to try to lift your knee up to your hand, okay? Now don't move your hands down it's just so you can touch your knee. You know, that's not what we're after here. We're trying to stretch up our knees up and we're, what we're really doing is we're kind of working out the front part of our leg here that's what's called our quadricep muscle and so we're just getting that loose because we'll need that in later in the workout we'll need it to be stretched ready full of blood ready to go okay so this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna do it and we're gonna count 30 times okay 30 times I want us to go like this so 15 on each side okay so everybody join me ready three two one here we go one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's important here that we don't stomp on the ground. We just kind of let our feet fall gently to the ground. We're not stomping even though we are marching, okay? And I didn't lose count either. Ready? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, good job, okay? Was that pretty good? Are you starting to feel a little bit of the burn? Maybe shake out your legs a little bit? Good news, we're going for 30 more, okay? So now that we got it, if you heard me there, make sure that you're not stomping the ground because we don't wanna hurt any part of our ankle. We wanna hurt any part of our foot. We just wanna raise it up and let it down gently, okay? So I shouldn't be able to hear you stomping like this, okay? No, 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 no. We're gonna let it down gently. Sound good? Okay, round two, here we go. Arms out, try to lift your knee as close as you can to your hands. Remember, we're not, putting down our hand. We're not trying to move our hand at all. We're just bringing our knee up to our hand. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, way to go, good job. Now, if I was going a little bit too fast, I'm sorry, I'm just recording this from the office here. But if you need to take more time or if that was a little bit too fast for you, if you need to go a little bit slower, that's okay. No worries about that, all right? No worries. Do go at your own pace, but make sure you get that 30, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do is a good stretch that we like to call the good morning stretch, good morning. And the reason we call it the good morning is it because it kind of looks like you're stretching like this and you're like, mm. you know, when you wake up from your bed and you're like, you know, you're sleeping. And then all of a sudden you wake up, you're like, oh, oh yeah. Good morning, right? That's the good morning stretch. And so what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our hands behind our head, just kind of like we're waking up out of bed, right? But when you wake up out of bed, remember you stretch as tall as you can. You don't arch your back. You're not slouching over. No, you have a straight back. That's what we want here too. So everybody keeping that straight back. So we're putting our hands behind our head. We're keeping that straight back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend at the hips. And that means we're bending like right here, okay? So you can have a slight bend in your knees, but not totally locked out, but also not really far down like this, okay? So slight bend in the knees, just kind of a comfortable bend. Put your hands behind your head like this, and then watch. You're gonna go down like this, and then up and we're bending, we're kind of focusing on bending at the hip, okay? And you should feel kind of like a light little gentle stretch on the back of your leg, and that muscle is called the hamstring. So we're really warming up our hamstring, we're continuing to warm up our legs, 
for the rest of our workout today, okay? So two hands behind the head, and we're bending at the hip and going up. And it's important here that we really drive our hips back. We're driving our hips back toward that way. If you watch my hips go back as I come down, my back stays straight, and then we're coming straight up. So that's one. So we're going down and one. Down, two, okay? Does that make sense? Here we go. So that's the good morning stretch, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of those right in a row, and then we're gonna continue the rest of our warm up. So, all right, ready? Join me here as we do 10 good morning stretches, okay? Here we go. Ready? Drive the hips back. You're going to keep your feet about shoulder width apart and your toes facing forward, just like this, okay? Don't have your toes face outward, have your toes face forward, feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knee, back straight, and then our hands behind our head here, and then we're gonna go down, ready? Here we go, so we're going down, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, two more, down, nine, down, and 10. Come on, good job. That's really great. Hope you did it right. Let's go, we're keeping going. Here we go. So the next one is we're gonna stretch out the sides here, kind of start to work to work out, warm up kind of our arms a little bit. So we're gonna do some side reaches. So I need everybody to put your hands over your head like this, kind of make like a little pencil with yourself. You're gonna be drawing all over the place, drawing all over the place. Ready? Keep your hands up like here and your feet are gonna be together for this one. You can have them a little bit apart, but try to keep them mostly close together. You're gonna reach up with your arms. Again, your back is gonna to try to stay straight. You're not trying to bend over like this or hyper extend like this. You want your back to be pretty straight. Hands over your head like this. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna to reach to one side and then we'll hold that for a little bit and then reach to the other side and we'll hold that for a little bit, okay? All right, so we're gonna start going to the right. Here we go. So everybody follow me going this way. Ready? We're gonna count for 20 seconds. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, okay. Shake it out a little bit, ready? We're gonna go to the left side this time. Ready, hands up, here we go. To the left, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, everybody. Looking good here, looking good. We're gonna keep going with our stretches today. This is our last one before we get into our workout. Everyone say, woo -hoo, let's go. All right, so this one is arm circles, okay? So we are going to reach our arms out to the side, just like this. Kind of make a T with your body. Make a T with your body. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate our arms forward. Or it's like we're gonna kind of draw circles. It's almost like we got little pencils on the end of our fingertips. And we're gonna draw circles. Let me do it sideways for you here so you can see my arm moving. We're gonna draw circles like that going forward. And we'll do that for a little bit and then we'll go backward. We'll do that for about 30 seconds on each side, okay? Does that sound good? 30 seconds, here we go. All right, arm circles. So everybody make a T, make a T with your arms here. All right, we're gonna fold forward. And now here's the kicker. I want you to draw a circle about the size of a basketball. So if you can think of a basketball, try to draw that big of a circle with, your, with the tips of your fingers, okay, as we do this, all right? So everybody, arms out, here we go, making a T, arm circles. Last stretch before we get into the workout. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30. Good job, good job, good job. Ooh, I'm starting to feel a little bit of a burn in here. My, my shoulders are getting warmed up. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. Here we go. So now, last one, we're gonna go backwards for 30 seconds, okay? Keep drawing the size of that basketball, all right? We're getting our shoulders and our arms a little bit loose, a little bit warmed up, so we can get ready for the workout. Here we go. Ready to the back, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, good job everybody. Looking good, okay, here we go. Ready for the workout? Let's go, it's Fit Friday, come on. So the first workout that we're gonna do today is going to be called a line jump. Okay, so this is the first part. So this we're working on a little bit of cardio here as we kind of go. So if you can find a line, you guys probably can't see the line on the ground for me today, but maybe find maybe a string, maybe so something in your house, something that you might find in your everyday house. Wait, I think I might have something that I could use here. What about this? It's a pair of pants. You're like, Jared, how are you gonna do line jumps with a pair of pants? Watch me, here we go. So I'm gonna take my pair of pants and this is something you'd have in your everyday house, right? Take my pair of pants, I'm gonna take one of the legs and I'm gonna spread it out right in front of me. I'm gonna scooch it back so you can kind of see it here, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over the pair of pants and then I'm gonna jump back. Jump over the pair of pants, bam, and jump back, okay? And we're gonna do that for about 20 seconds each. We're gonna do 20 jumps. So 20 jumps over, 20 jumps back, okay? So it should take around 20 seconds and then we'll do forward and backward for a while and then we'll do side to side, which looks something like this, where I'm gonna jump side over the pants, side to the back, over and back, and over and back, okay? Does everyone, everyone make sense? Make sure you got place, uh, space, I should say, for you to land on either side of your line, okay? We don't wanna land on anything, maybe hurt our feet or anything like that. So make sure you got space all the way around you and also, it's important that you land with a nice bend in your knee, okay? When you land, when you jump, and when you land, it's nice to have a little bend in your knee. It'll help absorb some of the shock so it doesn't hurt your ankles so much when you land, okay? We're looking for a gentle landing, okay? Here we go. Are you ready? 20, front and back. Ready? So this is what it's gonna be. It's gonna be one, okay? Two, over, back, three. All right, ready? Here we go. We'll keep going. Ready? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, almost there, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo! I'm starting to feel my heart race a little bit. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm starting to feel a little heartbeat going here. Okay, so that was forward and backward. Now we're gonna do side to side, and then we're gonna do each of those one more time. Okay, so side to side here. Try to keep your feet together as much as possible when you jump side to side, okay? When you're jumping forward and backward, it doesn't really matter as much, but you wanna keep your feet close together jumping side to side so that you don't, one, you don't land on your other foot, two, it kind of helps as to move as one unit when you keep them relatively close together. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Doing 20 line jumps side to side. Are you ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, almost there. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Great job, guys. That looks so good. I know that was pretty tough. Okay, for the sake of time, we're gonna move on and we're gonna go to our next workout here. As much as these pair of pants serve me, I think it's the same time to say goodbye to the parents. See you later.
Okay, so the next movement that we're gonna do is called mountain climbers. Now, mountain climbers really works on the muscles surrounding your belly, okay? Surrounding your belly, that's called your abs or your ab muscles, abdominal muscles, or your abs for short, I should say. Okay, so we're gonna be working out our abs. So this is what I need everybody to do, is in order to do a mountain climber, we're gonna get down on the ground like this, and we're gonna get kind of in a position on all fours, okay? So our hands are gonna be directly below our shoulders, kind of in a straight line with our shoulders here, and then our knees are gonna kind of be tucked underneath us for now, okay? So now, I need everybody to take your right leg and put it out straight like this, okay? Make sure your toe's on the ground, and then you're gonna take your left leg and put it straight out as well. So now you're in what we call a plank position, plank position, okay? So from that plank position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our right leg as far as we can forward, like this. Almost like we're trying to climb a mountain, right? If I was climbing a mountain, if I was climbing a mountain, I'd be reaching up here, and then I'd be reaching up here, and then I'd be pushing up, right? So it's kind of that same kind of visual that we're getting, except the mountain that we're climbing is the ground. I don't know how that makes sense, but here we are. So the mountain that we're climbing, so I'm gonna bring my right foot up, kind of touch it on the ground, and then bring it back. And then I'm gonna bring my left foot up and bring it back. Right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot, okay? And we're just folding, bending our knee, and we're bringing it as far forward as possible. And then we're bringing it, our left knee up as far forward as possible and bringing it out, okay? So we're gonna do those mountain climbers. You can go at your own pace. It doesn't have to be as fast as I'm about to go in. I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. I'm getting a pretty good workout here too, so this is good. So we're gonna bring our right foot and our left foot up. We're gonna do those mountain climbers and we're gonna do it for 30 seconds straight. We're gonna do it two times, okay? We'll take a little break in between. But it's important as we're holding this plank position that our body is straight. We don't wanna be folded out like this, have our, our back bent, or we don't want our back to bend the other way and stick our butt in the air. We wanna ima imagine you're like trying to balance a book or something on your back as you're holding this plank position. Okay, who's ready to climb the mountain? Ready? Okay, let's do it. We're gonna say 30 seconds, climb the mountain. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, all right. Woo, starting to feel a little bit in my tummy. I don't know about you, but here we go. We're getting a good workout in today. Take a few minutes just to rest here. It's important as we are working out that we're also hydrating. You gotta take a good drink of water every once in a while because our body and our muscles, they function best when they are properly hydrated. So I'm gonna take a drink myself here. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling ready to go. Sometimes the reason why our muscles don't perform the way they do is because they're simply lacking water. And so if we wanna perform at the best that we can do, if we wanna be the best athlete we can be, we gotta stay properly hydrated. And that's drinking water specifically. Water specifically. Okay, ready for second round of mountain climbers? Let's do it. Okay. Everybody in the plank position, balance those books on your back, and here we go for 30 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Almost there. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 
way six, way seven, way eight, way nine, 30. Woohoo! Let's go. So awesome. Okay, good news, y'all. We got one last workout left. That's it for today. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a cool down, okay? A little bit of a cool down. All right. So this workout is called the ISO squat punches, okay? And that's short for isometric squat punches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in a squat position. So that means that we're having our toes pointed forward, about shoulder width apart, and then we're gonna get in our squat, okay? And as we're in our squat position, what we're gonna do, squat position, we're gonna hold it in our squat position, and then we're gonna punch with our right hand, we're gonna punch with our left hand. Do a little bit of a cross punch too, okay? Cross punch, and then we're gonna go up. And that's one, okay? So we're going down, punch, punch, up. Down, punch, punch, up. Okay, so let's go over a squat. Just in case you might be new to this, that's all right. We're gonna go over the squat a little bit more, okay? Some specific pointers about the squat that are gonna help you do it right so you don't get hurt when you squat, okay? So here we go. First thing, starting at the feet, we're gonna point our toes forward, okay? Then you're gonna start with a little bend in your knee, okay? The big thing that we're bending is our hip joint and our knee joint right here, okay? So we're gonna be bending a little bit at the hip, but also we're gonna be bending mainly at the knee, okay? So start with a little bit, and then you want your back to stay flat. We don't wanna arch over like this. We wanna have a good, strong core and a flat back, okay? So try to tense your belly muscles, when we go down, tense those abdominal muscles. As we go down, keep that back flat. And then our head, we're gonna be looking straight forward, or if you prefer, you can look a little bit up, kind of towards the ceiling, okay? All right, so now, when we go down, we're gonna keep the flat back, and we're gonna stick our hips, again, back toward the wall, okay? So stick our, stick our hips back, and we're gonna be bent. And you should be going for about a 90 degree angle between your lower leg and your upper leg, just like that, okay? Now it's important too, one good sign is are your knees over your toes, extended over your toes? You don't want that. You want your knees to stay in line with your foot, just like mine are right here. Your knees in line with your feet, just like that. And it's almost like you're sitting down in a chair. You're kind of pretending to be in a chair a little bit, right? It's like an invisible chair is there. Now don't actually try to sit down because you'll probably fall over just like me. But control and you're sitting down in the chair, sending your hips, your back is flat, your belly muscles are tight, your hands are out in front of you like this, and then you go up. And you go down, extend the hips back, bend the knee a little bit, 90 degrees, and then we go up, okay? So that's the squat position, right? So we're gonna go down in our squat, we're gonna stay there, punch, punch, and go up, okay? We're gonna do 10 of these, take a small break, and we'll do 10 more, and then we'll cool down, and that'll be it before our Frit Friday. All right, here we go, ready? And also, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can pick up some weights for your punches, or maybe they don't have to be weights, it could be everyday objects, just like these two water bottles here, maybe, okay? I'm gonna pick up some extra water bottles for a little bit of a challenge. You don't have to, if that's too hard for you, Feel free to just do some air punches, okay? All right, here we go. All right, ready? Here we go, we're going down, ready? So we're gonna go down, hold it, punch, punch, up. One, down, punch, punch, up. Two, down, punch, punch, up. Three, down, punch, punch, up. Four, down, punch, punch, up. Five, halfway there, come on. We can do it. All right, that's six. Down, punch, punch, up. Down, punch, punch, up. Seven, three more, come on, we can do it. Punch, punch, up. Eight, down, punch, punch, up. Nine, last one, down. Punch, punch, and up. 10, good job, good job, good job. I would encourage you, maybe do that one more time. 
If you got the time to do it, do that one one more time. Unfortunately, our time for Fit Friday is coming to a close, so we're gonna quickly do a cool down with all of y'all, all right? So, okay, cool down. First thing that we're gonna do, the, the reason why we cool down is to keep our muscles from becoming sore, okay? So sometimes we have to do a cool down, stretch them out, maybe do a little bit of an exercise as well in order for our muscles to stretch out again so that they don't become all rigid even after we work out. It's important to restore the blood flow back in the muscles so that we don't become sore, okay? So first stretch that we're gonna do, we're gonna hold it for about 15 seconds. I think we're gonna do 15 seconds. First one is we're gonna do some toe touches, okay? I almost don't even need to explain these, but we're gonna have our feet pointed forward. Our legs are gonna be straight, no bend in the knee on this one, no bend in the knee. And we're just gonna go down, try to touch our toes and hold it, okay? Now, if you can't touch your toes and this is as far as you can go, that's okay. That's okay, as long as you're feeling a little bit of a stretch in the back of your legs and you're good, okay? So here we go, ready? Toe touch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, okay. Here we go. We're gonna do some more overhead side reaches, just like we did when we warmed up, okay? We're gonna hold these for 15 seconds on either side. Ready? Here we go. To the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. To the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then the last cool down stretch before we end our Fit Friday. So we're gonna do some trunk twists, okay? So I need everybody feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna put our hands on our hips like this and we're simply gonna twist back and forth and we're just kind of loosening up those back muscles that we were using earlier. And also these abdominal muscles that we're using for our mountain climbers, okay? So everybody do this. I'm gonna, hold, I'm gonna count to 15 and then we will be all set to go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I counted to 20. I guess we got five extra seconds. Those are bonus seconds, bonus. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this Fit Friday. Hope you were able to take some time to do some exercises. Stay fit. We'll see you next time.